right, guys. Today is uh, September the 26th, I think. I'm not really sure what today is. Yep, Saturday, September the 26th. It's evening hunt. Tonight I'm sitting over a food plot. Uh, it's a food plot of dwarf Essex rape. It's come up really good. And uh, I got some oats mixed in with it. The deer just been hammering it. Got a good rainfall the last couple of days, so the plots. I think they'll really be coming in here tonight eating us. There's fresh tracks everywhere since it rained, so they've been hitting it pretty hard. I've been running a trail camera over here in the corner. And uh, haven't hunted up here a whole lot. I did hunt up here one day a week or so ago and uh, saw some deer. I got another plot. This is what I call my twin plots. I got two plots right here, a stand in between. It's actually a gun stand, but I've got this stand right here. I'm down in the far northern corner here. Got a southeast wind tonight, so my approach was from the north with that southeast wind. I should, be able, should have gotten in here pretty safe. Most of my deer are gonna come, I believe, from the other side of the plot. There's a big bottom. It drops off down there. We never go in there, hardly ever. But the only time we ever go in there is February, March, looking for sheds. But it's just real thick and it's a, it's a really good bedding area. But tonight I got a good food source. I think those deer are gonna come in here this evening. I've been running a trail camera over some corn, which is legal in this part of Georgia, and it's pretty much gone. They've just about, there's just a handful of it left. I'll probably pull that car tonight as I leave, just to see what's coming in here. But in this area, I've got a couple bucks in mind. I've got uh, a big seven-pointer, and I really don't have a name for him. Probably call him number seven. Um, I've got a really nice eight-pointer that, if he's older than two and a half, I'll be shocked. I'd love to see him and film him. I'm not going to shoot him. I've, I've named him Slim. He is he's skin and bones. If he's a year and a half old, he's going to be a megastar one day. He's got a beautiful, probably 115 inch eight point rack to be so young and be so little. Need to do some doe patrol. I hadn't shot any does so far this year. We're already in our third Saturday and I hadn't killed a doe yet. So lots of lots of pictures of does. So those are on the hit list tonight for sure. Going to be slinging airs. Stay tuned and uh, hopefully maybe we can put something on the ground tonight.
That's a book that I just nicknamed tonight, number seven. I really didn't have a name for him. That's a mature book. Got pictures of him all summer. I don't recognize him from last year. He's a big, mature seven-pointer. Big body, really big body. Plot. All right, it's been a couple hours now. We went back, watched footage on on the uh, computer, ate dinner, and it's uh, it's about 10 o'clock now. So we're gonna come back out here and see if we can find him. Uh, we'll walk over here. I'm pretty sure my air is laying over on the edge. Plot. Somewhere right in here. Here's the air right here. It's got good blood on it. Got real good blood. Real good blood. Yeah. Alright, so he went this way. See that right there. Somewhere something ran right through there. Blood right here. Blood right there. Blowing all over this little bush up here. Right there. There he is, right there. Yep. Got him. He didn't go far. He's been dead for a long time. Pretty good little seven pointer, I would yeah, say, wouldn't nice you? Nice seven pointer. Yeah. Damn nice deer. Big deer. Yeah, he's a big old body deer. Real big deer. Brown horns. Yeah. He'd been rubbing too. Oh yeah. Yeah, he'd been rubbing pretty good. That's what come out. Yep. Pretty good shot. 37 yards. Well, this is a deer that uh I just nicknamed him tonight, sitting there, called him, started calling him number seven because he didn't have that other brow tan right there, but he's a, I don't know him from past years, but he showed up this summer, I got plenty of velvet footage of him all summer long eating out of the feeders, and uh, really what killed this deer was the trail cameras, been running trail cameras all summer and just keeping up with him, he'd been coming to that food plot pretty regular for the last couple of weeks. And uh, he's just been a pretty regular dude coming up there. And I said, I've been running cameras on that corner of that plot right where he where he come out. And uh, I was fortunate enough tonight I picked the right stand. And he uh, he come right in and presented me with a, with a real good shot. So, Boy, his neck goes all the way down. Yeah, yeah, he's a mature deer. There's no doubt. He's a he's probably a, at least a five year old. I would say, be my guess. I don't really know, but he's mature enough for me. Got to spend the recovery with my dad tonight. Something we don't do too often. <laughs> Congratulations. Right, Pop, I love you. I love you too. Right there. 